Hi guys, I wanted to give a quick update on our current situation. since we had the accident, so I thought I'd let you know what's happening. Um, first of all, I wanted to mention I know I looked pretty despondent in that last video, and I guess I was kind of feeling that way. I um, was still kind of in shock and just took a while to absorb everything that happened and what we had to do. And uh, I just felt like I wasn't thinking real clearly the first few days. Uh, and we've had some time, we've talked to insurance, and I'm definitely feeling more on top of things. I'll give you an update on Peggy. She's doing much better. Uh, getting around pretty good now. She still, still shows a lot of bruising, but she's not nearly as sore as she was. And I think it'd probably be another week or so before she's completely back to herself, but it's just a huge improvement. So we're really happy about that. Uh, we finally got word from the insurance company on the car. They told us they totaled it late last week. Uh, they called us this morning and told us uh, what they would pay for the car, and we were uh, pretty happy with uh, the settlement. Uh, we feel like it was really fair, so um, now we're waiting on the trailer, which they're supposed to be going out to look at today, and they're supposed to let me know at that point. Uh, whether it's going to be totaled or uh, repaired. And we're a little worried that it won't be totaled, mostly because uh, from everything we've seen, it's really difficult to get your trailer in uh, anywhere for repairs currently. And also parts tend to be difficult to come by. So we are real worried that if we have to get it repaired, we might be looking at six months or even more before we uh, have it back. And then you also always worry whether it will uh, get repaired well and be as good as it was before the accident. So we're really anxious to find out uh, what's going to happen there. Then we'll know what we're looking at, uh, either waiting for it to get repaired or how much money we're going to have. Uh, going forward to find our new tow vehicle and uh, trailer. We also think if it got totaled we might consider some different options since we lived in that one for over six months. We know what we liked and what we didn't like and uh, what we'd like to be a little different so we'll, we'll think about that depending on what happens. Um, I also wanted to mention we, we have a dash cam and we've been using it regularly and then about a week or so before the accident we took it down off the windshield because it had gotten real warm here in Washington and we were wanting to put our sunshade up in the window when we had the car parked. Then the day we took off I thought I ought to hook the dash cam up but I didn't take the time to do it. and. Uh, so we missed out on having some footage showing how the accident happened and also some really exciting footage of the car crashing into a ditch and a tree. Our immediate plans are we think we're going to fly back to Oklahoma probably next week. Uh, we will probably stay with my uh, sister Sherry initially but we're thinking we might try to find a small apartment that we don't have to sign a lease, lease on and um, stay there while we're trying to find our new, new uh, vehicle and trailer. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. If they take the trailer in for repairs, we may be able to sign a six-month lease. Um, I also want to really thank our daughter Lindsay and son-in-law Ryan for all the help we were really lucky this happened as close to them as it did that they could come down and help us and let us stay with them. We've uh, been uh, taking up room in their house for almost two weeks now and it's it's not real big so they've really put up with us. Um, 
I just I don't know what we would have done if it hadn't have been for them. Uh, Peggy could not help right after the accident because she was hurt too badly. I would have had to try to do it all myself. Um, just all the way around, they have been tremendous. Finally, as I mentioned in that last update, I've got a lot of footage I shot before the accident down in Oregon. I have at least a couple of episodes worth and I need to edit some of that down and see about getting some uh, some more episodes put up. Anyway, stay tuned and we will uh, keep you updated as the situation changes.